for as much hand-numbing, face-numbing cold we had over the Christmas weekend. Quite the opposite for our New Year's weekend and beyond. It's meteorologist Joe Moratucci here at the Press of Atlantic City, and welcome to Snow Search. Usually, I'm with my weather brother, Sean Sublett, from the Richmond Times-Dispatch, but he is off this week, and I didn't want to leave that corner blue and blank, so we have a nice, smiling, beautiful-looking photo of Sean, and he'll be back with us next week as we take a look at our snow search. So, snow search is looking for winter cold and storms for the week of January 1st. General trends is what we talk about. We can't tell you it's going to snow 8.4 inches in Richmond, but we can give you an idea of when the storms will be and what you could generally expect. No snow, no cold to speak of for next week here, all the way through January 9th. The Climate Prediction Center, which is a government agency, is giving us an 80 to 90% likelihood of tents being above average during this time. Now, this is unusual. This might happen once or twice a year. So this is something that, you know, is something significant for us here and definitely going to show some warmer temperatures as we go forward into our first couple of days of January here. Looking at our upper level pattern, I think this tells a lot of the story here. We do have some upper level low pressure systems that are at least in North America, and that typically means stormier and cooler weather for us. But what's going to happen is that child low pressure system, that smaller low pressure system that you see now near Omaha, that's going to kind of get hung up and blocked from moving too far east because we'll have a ridge of high pressure that's going to develop over Bermuda and keep that storm from really giving us a good shot of wintry weather. We will probably see some rain from this, and we'll definitely see some warm air from this, but no cold and snow from this. And you know, like they say, during the summer, Bermuda high pressure brings hazy, hot, and humid weather. Well, during January, it just brings mild and typically calmer weather during this time in terms of there being no winter storms, or for those of you along the coast, no coastal flooding either. So we take a look at New Year's Day. This is our first quote-unquote storm for the period here. And we see a couple of rain showers that are going to pass through during the day, mainly in New Jersey and in Pennsylvania. You see those temperatures, they do at times get up to around 60 degrees in Virginia and in North Carolina. So above average by about 10 or 15 degrees during that time. We take a look at some of our winter indexes to show kind of the pattern that we're in. This is the North Atlantic Oscillation. When the North Atlantic Oscillation is negative, that typically means stormier pattern for us. In this case, it's positive. So generally going to be mild and the storms that pass through are going to be relatively quick. That being said, it is trending negative. And it does look like as we go into the middle of the month, we can bring back some opportunities for snow and cold. Well, next look at the Arctic Oscillation. When the Arctic Oscillation is negative, it jams up the jet stream. That river of air separates two air masses. Typically brings bigger storms. And temperatures, they could be very cold, but they could be very warm. And in this case, like I said, it's going to be very warm until you get very negative with our AOs. When they get down to negative four or five, then it's more than likely going to be cold. And then our PNA, or Pacific North Atlantic Oscillation, uh, North American Oscillation, I should say, when it's positive, that means below average temperatures for the east. But you see, it's only a little bit positive here. And that's going to get outruled by where the NAO and where the AO is here during this time. Essentially, what this means in the bigger picture is the polar vortex is going to stay happily atop the poles and spin around tightly there. That means storm systems, and the, as they come through, are going to move relatively quickly. And there's not really a lot of cold air to speak about here. And again, it typically spins at the poles. On occasion, like we saw last week, a strong jet stream will help to bring down that polar vortex and eventually weaken that jet stream and that cold air rushes southward like we saw over the Christmas weekend for much of us here in the mid-Atlantic and in the south. So to recap, it's going to be warm for the first week of January. Maybe not hot, but I just wanted to bring up that icon because it's been a while since we were able to say that. But temperatures 10 to 15, even 20 degrees above average for most of this time. New Year's Day is warm but showery. And then we look at January 3rd to the 4th, is it's a rainmaker, potentially some thunderstorms as well, but definitely no snow in the mid-Atlantic and parts of the south here. So that is our snow search for the week of January 1st. Like we end our show over the past couple of weeks, one thing that we are searching for here over the past week, weather or otherwise, for me, it's really searching for 
how to return some of these gifts that I got, which have been great gifts, but you know, something doesn't fit me right. I got to figure out how to get the return and the exchange is going. I think it's pretty typical for many of you guys here. I have a pair of jeans that I need to exchange, but I had to talk to my sister who has to start the exchange. And then I got to talk to the company and coordinate, you know, all that good stuff as I go through the holiday season. For the latest in South Jersey weather, I'm with the Press of Atlantic City. You can follow me right above here. And for the latest in Virginia weather, you can follow Sean on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Until next week, everybody, and Happy New Year to you all.